This process is based on the timer object. The left inlet starts the timer and the right inlet marks the elapsed time. If you press the both inlets at the same time, the signal goes to the right inlet first and that goes to the left inlet. As the result, it calculates the elapsed time between each click. So sending a bang message to the left inlet of the timer object starts the recording time. So when you start to play, the note on and off messages trigger the both inlet, producing elapsed time. The first elapsed time indicates the start time of the first note. The next elapsed time is between note on and off, or between note on and the next note on messages. To quantize the elapsed time, you need to set up the grid line and also the split point. The split point is in the middle between the grid line. If the incoming time value is smaller than the split point, then it is quantized to the left grid line. If not, then to the right grid line. The quantized strength decides how much you want to move the node. If you move 100%, it'll be right on the grid line. 90%, a little bit before the grid line. And there is a quantization style. It works like a human playback. Because here, I'm only using the tonate object to create quantization effect. I'm using duration value to split the incoming nodes and apply different quantization strengths according to the length of the duration. So for neoclassic style of music, I'm applying 80% of the quantization strengths to the longer nodes and 30% to the shorter nodes. This quantization style works better for the classically created music that contains complex rhythmic contents. Mm -hmm.